Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and spectacular country of Italy here in Europe and I'm visiting one of the most historic cities of Italy. I'm in Perugia in the Umbria region of Italy. In this particular documentary, we're going to limit ourselves to the main square, to the most important and to the most historic site here in Perugia. So let's go for a tour. Let's admire the architecture of the surrounding buildings. We're going to go inside the palace and also we're going to get a great view of the magnificent cathedral of San Lorenzo. So this is Vic. Let's go for a walk in the center of the old town of Perugia here in Umbria in Italy. Let's do it. Here's a quick view of uh, this magnificent square here in Italy one of the most beautiful Italian squares that you will find anywhere in this wonderful country. That's Palazzo dei Priori, a beautiful palace which now houses several museums and it is absolutely spectacular. You can see the architecture very very closely resembling the Venetian architecture of the palace of the Dodge in Venice. If I was to turn around now, we can see Fontana Maggiore, the great fountain built between 1275 and 1278. One of the most spectacular fountains you will find in all of Italy. And then you see the magnificent cathedral of San Lorenzo built in the 1340s. And this is an absolutely spectacular square. Let's go a little closer to the fountain. You will find several sculptures from the Old Testament and also from the founding of Rome. Beautifully preserved as you can see here one of the most famous fountains in Italy and one of the most beautiful outside of Rome, I might add. Now this square that you see here has been the center of life here in Perugia since the Etruscan times, since at least the 6th century before Christ. It was also the center of the city during Roman times as well and during medieval times and it still acts as the center of Perugia and it is absolutely magnificent. So if you ever get a chance to come to Italy it will be worthwhile to drive here and just climb the hilltop where the old town of Perugia is located at and you just look around this magnificent square and enjoy every building around it. I'm now inside the 15th century cathedral of San Lorenzo and it is an absolutely magnificent cathedral. It is too bad that it is so dark. There are absolutely magnificent frescoes on the ceilings right there. magnificent large marble columns that you can see here with Corinthian tops, stained glass windows everywhere, but very very little light and that takes away from the beauty of this magnificent cathedral. Look at this.
Ja, ja, natürlich. Äh, aber heute, äh, ja, ja, kommen wir damit von hier. Aber das ist dort. Here's a quick view of the rear of the Cathedral of San Lorenzo. You can see how massive it is. Here's a side view. This is the northern part of the cathedral that you see here and the surrounding neighborhood. And uh, here's a uh, view of the piazza from the entrance of the palazzo of the palace that you see here. The original palace stood here in the 1200s. What we see here are additions made all the way up to 1443. So this palace dates from the middle of the 15th century and it is absolutely magnificent. Now let's go through the entrance here and I want to show you the symbol of Perugia here in the front room of the palace. Okay, let's look at these uh, two beautiful sculptures that you see here, bronze sculptures, which used to be at the Fontana Maggiore, but they have been taken down and displayed here in the front of the palace. This is the griffin, which is the symbol for the city of Perugia. And, and this is the lion, the symbol of the ruling family here in the Middle Ages, which supported the Pope, as opposed to supporting the Holy Roman Emperor. There were two factions here in Italy in the Middle Ages. Either you supported the Pope or the Holy Roman Emperor. And this is the symbol of the Guelphs of the particular family that supported the Pope. And uh, here is the perfectly preserved Sala dei Notari, the Hall of the Notaries, built in the 1290s during the early phases of the building of the palace. This is where the nobles met. This is where the important meetings took place. And it is an absolutely beautiful hall with frescoes from that era depicting biblical scenes, as you can see here. beautiful Romanesque arches right there. Meetings still take place here but you can imagine from the 1290s up to and including today how many important meetings have taken place here Here's a very last view of the Sala dei Notari at the palace here in Perugia. And uh, here's a parcel view of the square below from the palace. The Sala dei Notari is behind me. Here's another view of the magnificent cathedral of San Lorenzo and the Fontana Maggiore right there. Okay, let's uh, get back to the uh, center of the square, Piazza Quattro Novembri, the square of November 4th. And uh, I forgot or I neglected to mention to you that the Cathedral of San Lorenzo is unfinished. As a matter of fact, if we go a little closer, you will see that the bottom of the cathedral is beautifully decorated with marble and 
pink and white marble that is and with statues and then the rest of it is bare there's nothing there and that's quite uh, regrettable because this cathedral would have looked spectacular if judging from the cathedral of Siena which is just 90 kilometers northwest from here here's another view of this absolutely beautiful square in Perugia in Umbria right next to Tuscany in beautiful Italia now let's take another quick opportunity to view this magnificent fountain Fontana Maggiore here at the square you can see the beautiful statues of the saints and of bishops on the upper level and here on the bottom you see scenes from the founding of Rome you can see farming construction and so on in beautiful marble carvings and reliefs what a beautiful fountain indeed Well, this is it guys. I wanted to show you one of Italy's most beautiful and also most historic squares. This was uh, square of Quattro November, the square of November 4th here in the old town of Perugia. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from Perugia in Umbria in Italy. Bye bye.